Although progress has been made, there are still people living in poverty in Niagara. Today, the Niagara Poverty Reduction Network is hosting a public consultation to address ideas for change. Today, as part of the consultation for the development of a federal poverty reduction strategy, the Poverty Reduction Network in, of Niagara is uh, going to be facilitating a session with about 30 to 35 participants from across Niagara and asking a series of questions, discussion questions that were uh, presented by the federal government to help guide the information that they're looking for uh, for the consultation. And what do you want people to consider in terms of the questions? So some of the questions are looking at things like how do you measure uh, progress? How do you um, measure what, what types of indicators should the government be, be setting in terms of um, you know, maybe targets around housing, um, income, security, uh, child care, those types of things. And how can we, what, are, what should we be measuring in order to, to know whether or not we're making progress um, to reduce poverty? Glenn, what is the Niagara Poverty Reduction Network? Well, the network is a group of uh, organizations, individuals, special interest groups that come together and really are trying to look at the vision of trying to wipe out poverty here in the Niagara region. Uh, the group's been in existence for a number of years. We have over 30 plus uh, member agencies. So we really have the ability to get our finger on the pulse of what's happening with poverty issues in the region and organizations that are helping to wipe out poverty. We also have the opportunity by having all of these members is to be able to uh, talk to politicians, government, provide advice, facilitate uh, discussions like we are today on poverty issues. So we really see ourselves as a bit of a voice on poverty issues uh, within the region, sort of a go-to for information, advice, and uh, to be able to spur people to action. You know, let's do something about poverty issues in the region. And uh, it's nice to talk about it, but it's really better to say, yeah, what can we do and let's move forward. We'll be compiling a, a summary report from today. Uh, we'll be sending it into the federal government, and then we'll be uh, compiling a list of who was here today and they will receive a copy of the the consultations that are happening really across the country so we're just one of one of many different consultations happening so everyone who attends today will be able to to read a, a full summary report and and to know that their that their voices were included in the consultation process what's next for this network we are um, working on a number of different initiatives uh, in the community. We have some task groups. Uh, one of them is looking at uh, wages and work. We're putting out uh, this spring, we'll be redoing our cost of living and living wage reports, which we first produced last spring. Um, we've been working on some um, uh, consultations recently with the provincial government on basic income, which is a pilot project that they're launching this spring, so we've been involved in that. And just continuing, I think, to keep the community updated and educated on poverty issues and how they can get involved. The first step in understanding the complex issues of poverty is awareness. Then action is needed. You can learn more about how to get involved by visiting wipeoutpoverty.ca. In Niagara Falls, I'm Brenda Schultz reporting for The Source.